This is the Wapanka County Board of Supervisors meeting. Good morning, everyone. I will call this Wapaka County Board of Supervisors annual session public hearing for the 2020 budget and 8521 transportation services to order on this Tuesday, November 12th, 2019. It is 9 a.m. So we will press our roll call buttons. Roll call shows 24 members present, one excused, one absent, one vacant. Uh, I have to tell I heard someone say where Mr. Crispin was. He told me last meeting already that he could not be here. I don't know if I even told you that, did I? Yeah, um, yes, okay. I, I knew that. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Rowan, I didn't hear anything from. Um, has the open meeting statement legally been fulfilled? Yes, Clark? it has. Thank you. Let's stand for the silent meditation and then the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, we'd like to have an approval for the agenda that's before us this morning. Mr. Morick? Move that we approve the agenda as presented. There's a motion by Mr. Morick for approval of this agenda. Supervisor Golding? I second it. And a second by Supervisor Golding. Any comments or questions? Let's vote. The agenda passes 24 to 0. The minutes of the October 29th, 19 meetings, uh, meeting is before you too. Is there a motion for approval? Supervisor Lair? So moved. There's a second, uh, a motion by Supervisor Lair. Mr. Nygaard? A second. And a second by Mr. Nygaard. Any comments or questions? Let's vote. Last chance to vote. The minutes pass 24 to 0. Okay. I will entertain a motion to open the public hearing on the proposed 2020 budget and 8521 transportation services. Supervisor Zog? I'd make a motion that we hold our open meeting at this point. There is a motion by Mr. Zog, Supervisor Craig? Second. And a second by Supervisor Craig. Okay, we are in. Oh, we have to vote. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, please vote. Last chance to vote. That motion carries 24 to 0. Okay, the public hearing is open to the public for any comments or questions. Whoever would like to come forth and come up to the podium uh, and say who you are, your address, and we'll give you three minutes. Is there anyone out there that would like to come up and speak? Is there anyone that would like to speak? One last time, anyone that would like to speak? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing and open the annual board session. Mr. Johnson? There is a motion by Mr. Johnson to close the public hearing. Supervisor Hendrick, I'll second that motion to close. And a second by Supervisor Hendrick, Hendrick to close. Any questions or comments? Please vote. Last chance to vote. 
That passes 24 to 0. Okay, we are now in the annual board session, and number nine is to discuss the 2020 budget. Finance Director Heidi Dombrowski is present on the premises here, and maybe you'd like to come forth, Heidi. Please. Do we, do we pass this right away first? Okay, um, Heidi's here, and A is the year 2019 budget resolution number 24, 2019-2020. Is there a motion for approval? Motion, Mr. Nygaard? I move to approve. A motion by Mr. Nygaard to approve. Mr. Zog? I would second the approval. And a second for approval. Now, discussion, questions? Heidi's here. Any questions or discussion? Any comments or discussion? Supervisor Bowman? I was just wondering if there's been any changes since we last met. No, there have been no changes. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Supervisor Fredowitz? Thank you, uh, Chair Kevin. Uh, I just wanted to uh, have a little maybe positive spin on the budget and again thank Heidi and all the department heads. I looked at it this way if uh, the average house in Wapaka County is valued around 140 some thousand that means that each individual in that household they could get four different blizzards during the course of the year in the county. Thank you. That's very uplifting Supervisor <laughs> Federowitz and, and uh, something they really we've been waiting to know. <laughs> Any hot chocolate? <laughs> Is there anyone else? <coughs> Supervisor Gerald Murphy. Well, I have nothing as uh, elaborate and as delicious as blizzards to bring forth as Supervisor Federitz did. I just want to tell everyone that had anything to do with this budget what a great job you did this year, all the way from Heidi to uh, the department heads and uh, supervisors and everyone. It went smoothly, it went efficiently, and the results were terrific. So pat yourselves on the back because you did a great job. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Any other comments, questions? Seeing none, let's vote. Last chance to vote, passes 24 to zero. Thank you. Thank you very much, Heidi. Number 10 is ordinances, amendments to the general code of ordinances. A is 2019-684, amendment to chapter 34, petition number Z-018-19. For the town of Caledonia, Kenneth M. and Stacy L. McCarthy for a zoning map amendment from PVR F district to AWT district. Morning. Mr. Brown is here. Good morning. So what these landowners are looking to do is they're looking to increase some uh, uh, increase some land there to, for hunting purposes. Uh, the reason why they're going to AWT is because that's what the town comprehensive plan has on the preferred land use map. So in order for them to, as you'll see on the next agenda item, they're looking to take some land over here, but before they can do that, they need to first get that land zoned AWT. Supervisor Bosquez. Motion by Supervisor Bosquez for approval. Supervisor Zog. I would second that approval. <laughs> second by Mr. Zog. Questions or discussion? Please vote. Last chance to vote. Motion carries 24 to 0. 
Item B is 2019-685, amendment to chapter 34, petition number Z-019-19, Town of Caledonia, Lauren R. Vander Kinter for a zoning map amendment from AR District to AWT District. So you'll see this is the second part of this process here. This is the portion that they're looking to add on to the area that we just got done rezoning to AWT. That area in hash there, okay. that's the area that's uh, um, as being rezoned AWT again uh, because it's consistent with the town's comprehensive plan. Mr. Fleece? I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Fleece to for approval. Mr. Terry Murphy? I'll second that. And a second by Mr. Terry Murphy. Discussion questions? Supervisor Boyer. Um, why are there two different names on these two parcels? Uh, they're separate ownership. So, yep. So is the, the McCarthy's are the one that starts the process. What the McCarthy's are looking to do is they're looking to increase their lands that they have currently for hunting purposes. So they contacted their neighbors, the Vander, uh, Vander Kinters, and they had agreed to sell them a, a slice of their land. Any other questions? Please vote. Last chance to vote. That motion carries 24 to 0. Item C is 2019-686, excuse me, 2019-686, amendment to chapter 34, petition number Z-020-19, Town of Lind, Wisconsin and Northern Michigan District Assemblies of God for a zoning map amendment from AW District, excuse me, AWT District to a RR District. So this is the Spencer Lake Bible Camp. Um, and what they're looking at doing is that section there is currently all zoned Egg Woodland Transition or AWT. Uh, they're looking to rezone that to rural residential, which is consistent with uh, all the other the adjoining areas right now. You see the areas to the uh, to the west, north, and to the the north uh, northeast there. That's all currently rural residential. So what they're looking at doing is rezoning that uh, to the rural residential for consistency, and it also happens to be consistent with the town's comprehensive plan. Supervisor Pullman? I'd move for approval. Motion by Supervisor Pullman for approval. Supervisor Golding? I approve. A second? I second it. Uh, a second by Supervisor Golding. Questions? Please vote. Last chance to vote. That carries 24 to 0. Item D is to amend Chapter 51 of the General Code of Ordinance Agriculture agricultural waste management. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is just a little bit of housekeeping for our ag waste ordinance that we passed in August of 2018. Um, really addresses an issue in 51.08 parent 4C uh, revolving around our due date for nutrient management planning. Nutrient management plans uh, address what uh, farmers and ag pro agricultural producers are putting on the land. And I think we just had that a little too far embedded in this ordinance uh, after working with Diane. So we needed to pull that out to where it covers all plans. And in the process, we had a little bit of missing DNR language. Um, our ordinance mirrors a lot of what's in a couple of uh, DAT cap and DNR ordinances. So we fixed those issues. And that's about it. Supervisor Ellis. I move to approve. Motion by Supervisor Ellis to approve. Supervisor Lair. 
I have a whole second. And a second by Supervisor Lair. Any questions? Discussion? Let's vote. Last chance to vote. Motion carries 24 to 0. Okay, down to my report. I don't have any report, but I just want to want to uh, agree with Mr. Fredowitz and you, all of you that made co positive comments about the budget process. Uh, I've said this before. I can't say it enough. I'm so always proud of our professional staff here. Those of us that have been around the Wisconsin, you know what I mean. We are so fortunate to have the people we do in their professional offices. Uh, they not only work to save in their budgets, they help get, get the budget down in place where we can work with it, and then they work with us to make adjustments. That doesn't always happen in their counties. It reaches newspapers, radios, and all kinds of comments. I know, I've heard. There's one neighboring county next to us. It's not so much anymore, but that was commonplace. I want to thank the supervisors here, all of you. What a great bunch of people to work with. We're lucky, very lucky. Not every county is this lucky as we have people like you. Uh, we don't always agree, we know that. But we do not dislike each other because we disagree. That's just human nature. But thank you for your cooperation and, and, and all these budgets. I've been through maybe 20 of these budgets in my time. And this is one of the best budgets we've had in many, many years because of the cooperation and teamwork right out here. I just want to thank you. Uh, I do want to uh, make an appointment, a reappointment here of Brandy Lee Surprise of the Veteran Service Commission for a three-year term. Is there a motion for approval? Supervisor Hendrick? I move to approve that. A motion by Supervisor Hendrick for approval. Mr. Johnson. Second. And a second by Mr. Johnson. Any questions? Please vote. Last chance to vote. That carries 24 to 0. Yes, I know. Um, one thing we want to do as we do every year is recognize the veterans that served. I'm going to ask all you veterans, including staff and supervisors here, who served in service, who served, please stand. Stay standing. Now I'm going to go to, we go front to back. I'm going to ask you where you served and when you served, what world war, first or second? <laughs> Lee? <laughs> I, I got out uh, just after, no. I was in the uh, Wisconsin National Guard. I served during the Vietnam era. I've been there for six years, enjoyed every day of it. Wouldn't have stayed, but I had a store that was too difficult to have summer camp and run a store at the same time. But, uh, thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Muck. Mr. Ellis? I served in the 1980. I was an ROTC in college. So you graduate with a supervisor shooter. You don't know what to expect. You get what they give you. I wound up being fortunate enough to be the largest old fashioned landing in the entirety of the Vietnam War, 7,000 Marines. To be the shore. <coughs> I was a lucky guy who was chosen to be sacrificed to tell Ethan. And it really worked out fine with the nice game. It was 72 days in that with no wind. The Pacific Ocean was no way. We couldn't have been, we couldn't have been luckier. And that's the high point of my career. In two years, I thought, you know, and I said, Thank you, Mr. Ellis. Mr. Johnson. I was in the Marine Corps in 61 and 64, and uh, well, we circled Cuba. That uh, was the height of my cruise. <laughs> and we didn't shoot bullets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Spearings? 
U.S. Army, 65 to 67, Vietnam era. But I actually served most of my time in Europe. Uh, best time of my life, I guess. Why? Well, yeah, very educational. Enjoyed it all the while. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spearing. Cool. Uh, John Francis, I was in the Navy, uh, 93, 97. Spent a couple of years in Italy, had a good time. Uh, so I've been kind of down the Navy and never been on a ship, so I took orders to ship out of Japan and uh, uh, got to see a lot of the world over there and uh, we were so good. There was no major conflict. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh, I served in the uh, Army National Guard for a little over 20 years, toured um, Iraq. Iraq's my high moment was uh, they still me as a sergeant to work with a bunch of um, majors and high level officers to uh, rebuild a power plant in North Korea to, to increase the electrical infrastructure there. Uh, that was pretty neat. And then in Afghanistan, I got to oversee some big helicopter landing zone projects and uh, worked two months with the Afghan National Army where I took them into a classroom Thank you, Casey. Thank you. <laughs> Is there anybody else I missed? Thank you. Did I miss anybody? Okay, let's give them a great hand. <laughs> Thank you all for your service. Much appreciated. What? Mr. Joni? I just want to thank everybody for their service and I'd like to also mention that my father felt it was more important that I stay home and stay on a farm so our soldiers could eat. <laughs>
I could tell by your plate. <laughs> Yes, we'll all agree what a good job by the highway department, the, their men, their, their staff. It was a, and I understand Saturday was a good success too. So I called yesterday and was told there was the nice attendance that came Saturday. Is that right, Casey? About 300 or more Saturday. Great, great. Okay. Now we can go down to the meeting treats by Supervisor Muck. None fat, they're just great. <laughs> Celery and carrots, good deal. <laughs> With that, uh, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Supervisor Zog. I move we adjourn one of the shortest meetings on record. <laughs> Supervisor Lair? I second it. And there's a second to Supervisor Zog's. We are adjourned. <laughs>